Okay, before you do anything, you want to pull the 15 amp fuse for your fuel pump and turn over your engine. That way, uh, you can cycle the fuel throughout the engine, otherwise, you'll have a whole bunch of fuel come out your uh, fuel lines here. Um, well, doing it this way, you have a little bit less, hopefully, anyways. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll get started. Alright, now that we uh, have that, have the fuel cycle through there a little bit, hopefully too much, not too much will come out. You got two Phillips head screws on the fuel pressure regulator that is stock with the sock. Um, can go ahead and take those out. This is your stock fuel, uh, fuel pressure regulator that's on the back of the fuel rail. kind of cramped but it's not too bad just in case I have quite a bit of fuel come out I've placed absorbent mats at the bottom of the engine hopefully suck up all that Gotta work with it a little bit. I didn't take the hose off because the screw head is on the other side of this hose. So hopefully I should be able to just slip it out without taking it off. Alright, yeah, we got a pretty good amount of fuel coming out. Let's see if I can get this off. should be the end of it. Alright, there's your stock Nissan 240SX K24E sock fuel pressure regulator. It's about the same as the SR20 fuel pressure regulator and uh, these mount holes and this port right here fits up quite nicely as you will see with the uh, ISIS uh, adjustable fuel pressure regulator okay for what's in the box you have your new shiny adjustable fuel pressure regulator from ISIS I bought this kit off of Njuku Racing.com it's a pretty sturdy kit uh, very nicely designed and everything you have it also comes with the two ports for your uh, fuel lines. You got your uh, washers in there to go on those. You have your fuel pressure regulator adapter. This kit is labeled as the SR20 adjustable fuel re regulator kit. It also works with the K24E uh, single overhead cam engine. Uh, the mount holes are the same, the port is the same, and the o-ring and everything. It all fits up nicely. This adapter has the uh, barb for the hose connections, and then you have your pressure gauge. Uh, rather nice kit. 
well made, good quality. Um, but yeah, it's it's for the SR20. We're gonna go go ahead and uh, show that it can also work for the K24E single overhead cam engine. All right, now that we have all of our lines off, I'm gonna go ahead and put this uh, adapter on there. Once again, this is the uh, single overhead cam K24E. It will work with it. I'm gonna slide that in there. It's nice and snug. We'll put our two little screws back in. Be sure not to lose the uh, little lock washers on there very important you only have these two screws they do the job but uh with engine vibrations and everything the uh, lock washers help keep the screws from rattling out Okay, also in the box I didn't mention earlier, uh, Isis was kind enough to send extra fuel lines. And, uh, well, actually it's just about a four foot strip of them. So, uh, you can cut that up into however many pieces you need to, uh, go ahead and mount this. Okay, after you've uh, Tefloned uh, your three parts that you need to Teflon, your uh, setup should look something like this. Uh, this port will be your in inlet port. You have two inlet ports, one on each side. For uh, our four cylinders with a, a single fuel rail, you only need one port, so uh, ISIS has provided a block off uh, plug for you. Uh, for those that are gonna run, you know, a V6 or something like that with two fuel rails, that's what this other port's for. Um, set up your uh, your inlet port on the side that you need it, wherever you're gonna mount it. I'm actually gonna mount it off to the left of my engine, so. Uh, that's where I put it was on the right side and then uh, this vacuum port will uh, have a vacuum hose hooked up to it you're just gonna have to uh, take the stock vacuum hose that went to the uh, original fuel pressure regulator and uh, just get a different piece and run it to this instead uh, you got your gauge set up, set it however even you want to. Uh, once again with Teflon tape on the threads to go into the the uh, threaded hole. And then you have your outlet which is on the bottom. Just go ahead and put a, a port there and that runs back to your fuel tank. Uh, wherever you want to mount it it is up to you. I chose off to the left back on the firewall and uh, really it, it's it's all up to you. That, that seemed like the the best place to put it for me so. Alright now I have all my lines run. <clears throat> you got your fuel filter right here. It goes up and goes into the rail. A fuel rail here. I went ahead and redid that just because I had the, the spare hose. Um, <clears throat> then on this side you have your fuel pressure regulator adapter right there and your hose that goes to the inlet port 
on this side of the fuel pressure regulator. I have my vacuum hose right here that runs back to my vacuum hose assembly back there. And then I also have my outlet that goes back to the fuel tank. I went ahead and mounted it here with the uh, mount that ice is supplied and uh, yeah that's that's about it it's uh, all installed now and uh, we got a few things after this before we can just uh, crank up and start running since it's not factory you got to set the uh, the fuel pressure itself what you're gonna want to do is warm up your engine to standard operating temperature go ahead and uh, let her run during that time you want to check for fuel leaks and everything and then once you do that you will pull this vacuum line off and while it's running and then look down at your gauge set it to around 43 psi once you set it to 43 psi with your adjustment screw which it should be clockwise is to up the pressure counterclockwise is to lower the pressure once you get it to 40 43 psi without vacuum you go ahead and tighten your nut your lock nut lock it in place and then put your vacuum hose back on <clears throat> and then once you do that it should drop down to around a little above 30 I believe and uh, then you should be good to go